Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Have a Pint. Today we have Lincoln Up from Boulevard Brewing Company. Uh, it is a collaboration with Zipline Brewing Co. Uh, there's actually two separate beers and we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, it is an American IPA, as is the other one. Uh, this one is 6.2% alcohol by volume, 47 IBUs. Uh, it gets a 3.84 rating on it untapped. Uh, the description for the beer is a liberal dollop of lupulin powder, a.k.a. hop dust, and a medley of our favorite varieties deliver bright, juicy notes of pineapple, mango, and bubblegum. Toasty malt plays a restrained supporting role as hop flavors and aromas burst from the glass singing from center stage. Uh, I have actually had both beers. Uh... This one, uh, the Boulevard one, uh, they brewed down there uh, in Kansas City. And uh, Getting Down, which is the uh, Zipline one, they brewed up here in, well, they brewed in Lincoln. Uh, <clears throat> that one I, I was not a huge fan of. Uh, getting Down did not impress me, unfortunately. It was okay. The problem with getting down was it was a bomber. Uh, and as you already know by this point, I'm not the biggest fan of bombers. Uh, that one was 8.5% alcohol, you know, 74 IBUs. It was supposed to be this big hot bomb. It was not. I felt like... I mean, it was decently hoppy, don't get me wrong, but this one at 47 IBUs, vastly hoppier, and I know IBU doesn't really mean much as far as how hoppy a beer is going to be, because it depends on how much malt you have in there, what kind of hops you're using, uh, and so on, and how you put the hops in. That one I was not overly impressed with. Uh, for what it was supposed to be, I only rated it at 4.25. And for being this big, massive beer, it was not impressive. But it wasn't a bad beer. I would honestly have it again. I would never buy a bomber of it again. But anyways, this one, uh, I bought a six-pack as it comes in 12-ounce uh, bottles. Uh, and I have been rating it a four. But I like this one a lot better because I don't have to have, you know, 23 or so ounces of it at uh, any given time. But anyways, when I poured it, it had about two fingers of head, uh, a light in color, you know, shadow through it. Uh, and for this one, I got my IPA glass. Uh, quite a bit of bubbling going on in there, rising to the surface. And see, with this one, I get a lot of citrus uh, in the nose and pineapple. Oh, I actually get a lot of that mango in there as well. Do I? I do definitely get citrus. But I get the pineapple fairly well, but I get a lot of the mango. I don't know if I can say I get the bubble gum out of it, though. I don't like the smell of bubble gum, or bubble gum in general. Maybe a hint of it. See, this one just has more bitterness and more flavors going on than I feel like Getting Down did. Getting Down, I felt like the only thing going on really in that was the hops and not even like pineapple mango, you know, nothing, you know, nothing added to it just a little bit of hot bitterness was really I felt like the only thing going on in there and you could definitely tell the alcohol in it so if anybody thought I was just gonna be a homer for uh, for local beers I love zipline I do but that was not a good uh, it was a good beer but it was not as good as it should have been for what it was supposed to be uh, there are many breweries though around here I don't I don't like Thunderhead at all. 
I don't like their beers at all. Uh, I don't remember what town they're from. But I had their uh, Wheat Stalker dark wheat beer. This was like 10 years ago. And it wasn't bad. But whatever their main beer was, I think Get Her Done was their main beer. I just didn't care for that. Uh, Oh, Crop Duster. I know I've heard of that one, but I've never had it. But I had Corn Stalker, I had Golden Frau, and I did not care for either of them. Oh, maybe they're not the one that does get her done. Hey, little boy. Uh, but no, I'm just, they're from Carney. I'm just not big on them. Uh, I've... Nebraska Brewing, actually, you know, when I got into craft beer, Nebraska Brewing Company was good. Then I felt like they went downhill. And uh, now that they actually have accessible beers where it's not, you know, if you go to the, the store, uh, it's not these big $20 uh, bombers of beer uh, straight from their tap room. They actually have six packs and they have a, a lineup that's year round. And I think with that, and they're all very flavorful, I think it's risen uh, Nebraska Brewing up in my eyes again. Uh, I used to really love Imperium, but I can't really say I like them much anymore. I mean, their Dark Side Vanilla Porter is good, but I don't know, they fell off for me. With the, with the huge expansion of beer in Nebraska and different breweries, they've fallen off. Uh, I went to 1588 Brewing, the Omaha location. It's a Lincoln Brewery, though. Um, they they specialize in uh, Hawaiian beers. Uh, they'll take regular styles but add Hawaiian twists to them. And it's really genuinely really good. Uh, I loved their porter. Their, uh, their stout... Uh, was their main beer. I think it was a pineapple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hawaiian, it was called a Hawaiian Stout, and it was good. But then I tried the Hawaiian Porter, which was a limited uh, release. It was the same basic beer, but I felt like the, I think it was pineapple, was complemented so much better in the Porter. I could be wrong on if it was pineapple, but anyways. I never got to the mouthfeel on this. Yeah. It's medium body. Uh, carbonated. Fairly happy, and I think it's happier than getting down was. And that was all I got out of there. But I get a fair few things in the flavor here. Up front, it's just hop. But in the middle there, I get pineapple and mango. Correction, I get bubble gum up front on the front of the palate. And then the pineapple comes in in the middle and the mango. And then it, the pineapple disappears and on the back end it's just mango. Like I'm still tasting mango. I hate mangoes, but I love uh, mango and IPAs. But uh, thankfully, I get no bubble gum in the in the taste, because I do not care for that. That would downgrade how much I enjoy this beer. But this is genuinely a good collaboration, and I'm glad Boulevard collaborated with the Nebraska brewery. I felt like it was something different. And that was pretty neat. But yeah, this one was the one brewed down there, and you know, the getting down was brewed at Zipline in Lincoln. <laughs> And, like I said, I usually like Zipline, but that was disappointing. I don't think I'd had anything else by Zipline I did not personally like. At this point in the channel, I don't know... This will be one of the first, like, 15 or so uh, episodes. But... I am starting to run out of things to talk about. I know I still haven't talked about my writing, which is my number one passion. Uh, 
we talked about reading, so that when we got out of the way, because that's also a big passion. Obviously, we've talked a lot about beer. Uh, there's a video that will be going up soon uh, where I kind of hand it over to you guys to give me more suggestions on what we can talk about. Uh, and other suggestions for the channel. I love that it coats the glass. And I, yeah, we got to get to writing. Uh, come fall, though, there will be a lot of uh, football talk. Mostly Nebraska football, as you could probably have guessed. And there will also be a lot of Kansas City Chiefs talk. Which I think Kansas City is going to kind of suck a little bit this year. Uh, I'm not against the idea of getting rid of Alex Smith. But we did it too early. I think we should have had Alex Smith for another year or two. Uh, and I forget who our starter is now, what his name is. But uh, I felt like we should have given him another year or two to kind of get there. I don't think he's quite where we'd like. I mean, if our starter wasn't that great, then I would say, yeah, now's not a bad time to do it. But Alex Smith was statistically the best quarterback in the NFL last year. Statistically speaking, he was the best. And because of that, I think we needed another year or two. If we would have kept him, I think we would have been Super Bowl bound this year. Of course I say that. We always do stupid shit to fuck that up. We can we get so close and then we're like, hey, you know what? Let's fuck this up. Anyways, there'll be more talk on, on that. Uh... I did actually go to my first ever Chiefs game uh, last fall, and it was perfect too because it was Denver, and we won fairly handily. I think we won by like 20 points or so. But uh, it was neat to see alcohol in a stadium because I'd only been to Nebraska football games, and I'd never seen alcohol sold because it's a dry stadium. I don't know if that's a college thing or just a, uh, because Nebraska's conservative. What you doing, buddy? He's getting so big. Uh, but that was really neat. It was fucking freezing. And we were bundled up. Me and my girlfriend, were, we were bundled. And we were both freezing. Uh, I had on long johns. I had on a, a undershirt, my main shirt, uh, and then a jacket. And it was not enough. It was 32 out. But anyway, it was 32 out, and usually I like uh, cooler weather, but I couldn't do it. We're going to be more prepared when we go down this fall. We go down every fall because our anniversary is, well, in Octo late October we go, um, because our anniversary is in late October, and it coincides with... Uh, Worlds of Fun doing their Halloween stuff, which I'm never usually into that. I absolutely love the stuff down at uh, Worlds of Fun. Like, stuff around here, you know, anybody who's into Halloween is going to enjoy it. But All right, anyways. Uh, but we also like to go down there for Worlds of Fun for their uh, haunted attractions. And I mean, we have them around here, and anybody who's into Halloween is going to enjoy them, but I'm not overly into it. Um... Uh, so I'm not, I just don't care to do anything around here. And she's really into it, and she doesn't really care about any of the ones down uh, around here. We did that this last year, and we did not bundle up enough. I had, I had on about what I had on at the game, and it just was not enough. Uh... We started it at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I think it was 9 o'clock. Yeah, it was 9 o'clock. I think we bailed out before midnight. Oh, yeah, because we went back there at like 6, hoping we could do some roller coasters and stuff. 
if um, if they were up and running, but they weren't really. So I think about 8.30 or 9, we started uh, doing the haunted attractions. And even though we had the Fast Pass, or whatever it's called for the Halloween stuff, we still had waits. But seeing the lines, if you didn't have that, you were doing one thing a night. And that would get expensive. That would be much more expensive than getting the Fast Pass to do. But anyways, we're going back down there, and we kind of want to go back for another game, but it also depends how much tickets are going to be, who it would be against, and... Because honestly, I don't care if it's like the Browns or something. I don't care. I don't. I don't remember look uh, seeing what our schedule looked like. But I'm not as huge into it as I am Nebraska. So Nebraska, I'll go to any game. I don't care if we're gonna win seventy to nothing. I'll go and I'll have a great time. Uh, I'm not that into it. If it's a no, if it, you know, if I know we're vastly better than the other team and we're going to win by 30 points, I don't care. With the exceptions of like the Cheatriots, Denver, Raiders, I always enjoy watching a beat down on them. Chargers, I usually feel bad about, or bad for, because they're never any good, but. That wasn't what I was planning for this episode to be about, was Kansas City, basically, but hey, we got a Kansas City brew here, so speaking of which, I gotta have some more Boulevard. I want to get some more Boulevard, so I haven't really had a lot of Boulevards recently, and I want to get uh, more Stones, and same with uh, New Belgium. But the problem is they mostly all do bottled beer. And I'm not I'm just not that into it. There's only 126 different beers for Boulevard. That seems insane. I mean, I haven't had the calling. Uh which is uh their double IPA. I haven't had their Jim 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 and what the hell is Jim and uh ginger lemon radler. I have not had. Uh, I have not had their Tropical Pale, which sounds really good. Their Hibiscus Goose, which, if it's halfway decent, I'm going to love it. Uh, Tall Tail Tart, oh my goodness. I think I've actually seen that. Why have I not picked that up? Oh, I just saw Edgar Allan Poe. Deriving its name from Edgar Allan Poe's classic tale of madness and murder. Ooh. Oh, it's a smokestack series. There's, their smokestack series beers are excellent, but I just don't like bombers. Pop up session IPA. I remember I went down to their brewery when that had first come out, and I almost bought it then, and I should have because it's, I, it's something I still haven't had. Bourbon barrel quad was really good. Heavy lifting. I want to try that too. Is that still a thing? It's just been so long. Funky pumpkin. It is still a thing. Uh, I want is Funky Pumpkin their uh, fall seasonal now? Our entry into the very popular pumpkin ale market is an eccentric one, with pumpkin flavor scarcely present, upstaged by cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and ginger. A pleasant tartness prevails. Ooh, ooh! I wasn't so sure after I heard that. Pumpkin wasn't much of a flavor in it, but knowing it's a sour, though, that's really interesting. Oh, they're Nutcracker Ale. Forget it. That is an amazing beer, but, you know, yeah, like Winter Ales or Winter Spice beers. Uh, yeah. I can honestly not tell you when the last time I really had Boulevard was before I'd bought this. It'd been forever. Uh... So, and I want to do that. I want to. I, I kind of want to try Fat Tire again. I'm not sold on it. But I kind of want to try it again. Uh, 
actually what I was planning this episode to be about is going to be what the next one's going to be about, which I don't know what I'm going to have for the next one. I am slowly running out of beer and I'm poor. But, uh... I actually wanted to... I don't see many movies and I don't watch much TV. We have Netflix, but it's her it's her father's account, so we don't really... Uh, we don't pay for it, but we don't really watch it too much. Uh, mostly what we watch it for is uh, her showing me animes that I have not seen. And I like anime, I just have never really known how to delve into it, and she's getting me there. Uh, but yeah, I don't watch much TV or anything. She's trying to tell him she does not want to play right now. She likes to play with him. He likes to play all the time, and only with her, because she's kind of scared of his other two sisters, which is funny, because one of them is frightened of him. But she's been frightened of him since she, he was a quarter of her size. I might have to go break him up, because she's going to end up hating him if he does this shit all the time. But uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'm a big dinosaur fan. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. And I'm a big fan of those movies, you know. For me, my favorite falls back, or it, sometimes it's Jurassic Park, sometimes it's Jurassic Park Lost World, or Lost World Jurassic Park, uh, but I love those two. I, I like Jurassic Park 3 a fair amount. Uh, I like Jurassic World a lot. Uh, Fallen Kingdom, I really like, but we'll get into it in the... Uh, next one. It's definitely not my least favorite, but it's nowhere near my favorite either. I gotta figure out what beer I'm gonna have after this for the next episode. I do like Kansas City a lot. We're, uh, I think for the foreseeable future we're gonna be going down there at least once a year. It's a cheap trip, and uh, there's a fair amount to do. And I get incredible gas mileage down there because it's all interstate. It's like, it's like four or five different cities in a vague area together, and it's all connected by interstate. So anytime you're going to go somewhere, you're hopping on the interstate and going there. So I get like 30 miles to the gallon on the interstate, so I appreciate it. Um, here, most of my driving is to work, which is two miles away. So I get horrid gas mileage. Uh, I say horrid. It's it's like 26 miles to the gallon, 25. Which is nowhere where I'd like it to be. Uh, I don't know. It's always been one of my favorite trips. My favorite, absolutely, is Estes Park. Uh, I want to so bad, and I don't remember if I've said this before, so badly go to Europe. I think I have talked about that before, where I'd love to spend at least a couple of weeks in Germany, at least a couple of weeks in Belgium, uh, at least a week in England, and probably a week or a little over just traveling around the rest of Europe. Uh, to, for me, the rest of Europe doesn't have a great beer market. The next best is Ireland, but it doesn't have that great. It has Guinness, and I'd love to go to Guinness, but... That's really about it, in my opinion, at least for what I get over here. No, don't get me wrong, I'll try everything I can from the, co uh, country, from the country, not the company, from the country, but this was a little bit of a mesh-up video, not really one solid thing talked about, but I'll probably put it up right after this, the one where I talk about Fallen Kingdom just because I've said it so much in this video. But I think that's the only movie in theaters right now that I have actually seen. There's a few others I'd love to see. I haven't seen Deadpool 2 yet. I want to see it. Uh, there's a few others I want to see, but I just don't watch nothing, really. Besides, I'll watch some YouTube. I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube recently just because Jurassic World Evolution came out. And so I've been watching Connor play through that. But, anyways. 
uh, I'm going to wrap up this episode. So, I'm going to... I'm going to stick with that four-star rating. There's not a whole hell of a lot going on in this beer. There's a lot going, or a fair amount going on, but I think it all plays well together. But there's just nothing overly special about it. And again, it's a style that oversaturates the market. But I'm going to stick with that four-star rating. So until next time, Prost.